بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوحم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is a short talk about arachnoid cysts What is arachnoid cysts? A relatively common benign and asymptomatic lesion occurring in association with the central nervous system both within the intracranial compartment most common and also within the spinal canal they are usually located within the subarachnoid space and contain csf The majority of patients with arachnoid cysts are asymptomatic when symptoms occur as a result of a gradual enlargement resulting in mass effect and this, this result either direct neurological dysfunction or distortion of the normal CSF pathways resulting in obstructive hydrocephalus. Arachnoid cysts thought to be arise due to congenital splitting of the arachnoid layer with accumulation of the CSF within the potential space and the cyst is comprised comprised of flattened arachnoid cells forming this thin translucent membrane. There is no solid component and no epithelial lining of the cyst. Radiology Arachnoid cyst can occur anywhere within the central system and most frequently occur in about 50 to 60 percent in middle cranial fossa where they invaginate and widening the sylvian fissure. In this location can classified into three types according to the size. Uh, arachnoid cysts are exter extremely well circumscribed with imperceptible wall and displaced adjacent structure when large and over time can ex exert remolding effect on the bone. CT cisternography is introduction of contrast material into subarachnoid space demonst demonstrates the communication between the cyst with the subarachnoid space and the communication is slow and the cyst often fills later with contrast. Here this is the CT scan of the patient with arachnoid cyst as we see the arachnoid cyst is CSF density it looks like the the for ventricle and uh, cistern here and uh, cyst it is extension upward here this is the patient with arachnoid cyst in the middle cranial fossa causing remolding of the bone and minimal uh, exophthalmus here this is the flare CT scan or also a patient with arachnoid cyst MRI as the as they filled with CSF it is not 
seen surprising and follow the CSF's uh, sequence in all sequences including the T1, T2 flare and diffusion imaging and this enable them to be distinguished from the epidermoid cyst for example and also this disturb uh, displace sometimes it it causes displacement of the surrounding structure and no enhancement is noted after contrast and no solid component here this is a cyst with uh, in the middle cranial fossa as we see it's in t1 and t2 it is followed the uh, CSF uh, uh, intensity on these sequences and here the flare images I also it is suppressed with uh, as the CSF and here we have the diffusion and the ADC, ADC mapping of the cyst following the CSF uh, uh, in signal intensity here this is no contrast enhancement of the cyst noted and here another patient with the flare with suppression of the cyst and looks like the looks like the CSF density and here as we see minimal mass effect on the uh, left lateral ventricle here, this is uh, uh, arachnoid cyst in the cerebral lobe angle, as we see here. Here is another patient with arachnoid cyst, and the cyst in the, it is in the supracellular system. Here, a patient with uh, arachnoid cyst in the posterior fossa, and we see the cyst in the posterior fossa. Here, a patient with uh, large cisterna magna, and we see the falx as we see here in the CT scan and the MRI. And if we see the falx uh, traversing the the CSF density mass or CSF intensity mass lesion, this is highly suggestive of the large system magna. Here, this is patient with post automatic rupture of arachnoid cyst and with subdural hemorrhage is seen with mass effect and midline shift causing by the subarachnoid, sorry, subdural hematoma. What are the differential of the arachnoid cyst? As we said, we have large cisterna magna, epidermoid cyst, subdural hygroma, a chronic subdural hemorrhage, cystic tumor, non-neoplastic non cyst, neurocystosarcosis. Here, this patient with CT scan and MRI cyst in the mass in the posterior fossa, and we see the first is traversing the, the cyst, and this is highly suggestive of mega cisterna magna or large cistern magna. Here, this is as we see mass in the right uh, CV angle and with diffusion, there is a restricted diffusion and this is uh, that mass, it is not uh, follow the CSF signal intensity. This is T1, this is T2 and this is the flare and it is not completely suppressed and the restriction with diffusion it is consistent with epidermoid cyst treatment and the prognosis of arachnoid cyst as we said arachnoid cysts are benign 
and vast majority remain asymptomatic throughout life. If there is causing symptoms, then surgery is contemplated and either take in the form of a craniotomy or fenestration or excision of the cyst or a placement of cystoperitoneal shunt. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك